I don't think it will happen. If it's happened, I take it sure, but um, it's yeah, it's very very difficult to beat them. We analyze them well. They are doing well, um, especially in their offensive transitions. Um, always dangerous. They played one 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 against Mali, so we know what we have to expect. Um, despite the win, um, we can't we can't relax now. We have to continue. Um, big big congratulations to the team. For this fighting spirit, um, um, coming back after zero one half time, late goal, um, and then be mentally strong and uh, have the right team spirit to to turn this uh, result around. I um, um, think uh, the, the boys run a lot. Um, they did a lot of good work, um, especially defensive. Even though we allowed a bit too many chances, but. Um, um, if you watch the, the game closely, you see how even our offensive players were working against the ball in the heat of uh, 42 degrees. Um, and sometimes then also we, we, we are missing an offensive action, but the, the, the way up from the front to the midfield, how Kudos uh, uh, and his Norma, how they work defensively, how they run, it was uh, for me it was massive. Um, and um, in this atmosphere in the stadium to survive and to at the end, with the players coming in, um, um, giving us freshness, um, giving us strength, um, and creating at the end uh, chances um, was was really really good to see. And um, yeah, I think um, these are the kind of games what makes a team grow together. And um, yeah, we still have to learn from mistakes. We did at this, that game, um, and um, we have a young squad, as everybody knows. So. I think it was a very, very good experience to get on to the next challenges. Right. Um, questions? Right. Okay. Michael, you take the first one. Uh, please take the microphone. Your name, media, and then straight to the point, please. Michael, as I would in Sompa TV. Coach, happy birthday. Thank you. You missed it, then. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> no, that's a special party. Yeah, okay, 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 okay. So Thank you very much. If my memory serves me right, this will be the second game we are playing in Kumasi as Blasters head coach. The first one was against Nigeria, and the reception was wow, it was impressive. How much of a response would you expect from the fans? You spoke about atmosphere in the game against Mali. What is the atmosphere you're expecting from the fans who will come here tomorrow to help you get away against Cal? Yeah, um, I was really overwhelmed when the last time we came here. Um, to be honest, I didn't expect that because yeah it's it's not you, you can't take it for granted especially after a bad afcon that people are still supporting you and this is uh, what makes me love kamasi no matter what and in football whoever played or i mean i think in general in every situation when maybe you're down this is where you need the support support mostly and uh, so i'll never forget this um, what kamasi did for us and they cheered us up and we, I think we had a decent game. Um, we had, I think, 60% ball possession. We dominated them, dominated them. We were just missing a goal, but um, it was really, really good to see. And uh, I, love, I love coming to Kumasi and play here. And uh, um, yeah, now this is surely what I expect also, the support to the, the last whistle is made. And um, yeah, I'm very, very happy to be, to be here and playing here because I know this will Give an extra kick for the for the for the players, um, even in hard times or even um, um, when things will be hard, they will still support us, and it's a good feeling. It's good to, uh, mentally, good for the players to come here and know that they have the back of the Kumasi fans. Which corner? Celeste, shall we football? A big winner. Are we at my? Were they injury? Are they in injury concerns heading into the second game? Um, we had uh, some few injuries, um, like I said, it was a tough, tough match, but um, seems like everybody will train 
fully today and um, yeah I'm sure that that yeah everybody will be ready for for tomorrow's game coach um, Daniel Grant enjoys sports Daniel Grant enjoys sports um, the squad you've assembled for this uh, this team we saw the impact of the substitutions in that game against Mali how important is it to have a squad of different options that you can call upon players to change games as and when you need to it's very important. For me, it's very important. Um, and yeah, I know some might won't understand sometimes if, let's say, one player is called and the other not. I mean, there's so many uh, different reasons. Sometimes the player is sick, injured, sometimes he can't come, sometimes doesn't feel strong enough to, to come. And some players we talk to are still deciding whether to play for Ghana or for another country. So it's a difficult, uh, different reasons. And, um, but for me, it's very, very important to have different options. So sometimes you need uh, a striker like George who can hold the ball or uh, somebody who goes one against one like Kudos. Sometimes you have a more defensive um, um, structure for the game. It depends on who we are playing. And um, so it's, for me, it's very, very decisive to see the options to score goals and also the best option how to defend and based on that plus the training, plus their games they played in their various teams, decides at the end um, um, who will play, and which, but it has to fit with the, with, the, with the opponent we have. And this is very, very important for me, and I was happy that, um, that the, the players uh, who, which came in, uh, Momin was, was there straight, uh, Jordan um, scored the winning goal, uh, had a good assist uh, where Thomas almost scored, um, was Fatao was pressing well, uh, really, really sharp, winning the the the, the game, winning uh, ball for us to, to to have an assist for Thomas. Elisha was there on point, stopped some important attacks uh, against us, and yeah, was was just really, really happy um, to have this this bench. And uh, in all, I'm happy with the squad and the way the guys presented themselves. Very, very disciplined. Um, we had a lot of fun. Um, surely also when you win you have a lot of fun but also before and the way they, the guys engage with each other I really really like it and um, um, I think um, there's a, yeah, a lot to come for the future and um, like I said Mali was a very very good experience with a happy end um, and even if we would have played 1-1 I would be very very positive about the squad Imano Empire FM Takari um, Coach I want to know if there are any comments if you have any comments on the pitch and also if there are any comments from the players with regards to the pitch. Um, I really have to say Mali had a wonderful pitch. <laughs> um, and, but I know it's, you know, it's, it's difficult like, to, to judge on the pitches. We wish and the pitches would be better, um, even when we train in Accra. And these are things, I think, in general, which we need to work on. Um, um, as yeah, all together, and um, I, I hope that um, it will get better. But um, this is the way it is, and this is how we take it. And when I was playing, the pitches were even worse. So things are getting better gradually, and uh, um, I think um, we will all have to push and work um, to to make things better. But it's not a topic for us, to be honest. You know, we are just focusing on the game. Um, it's the same condition for our opponent. So for me, it doesn't matter. And uh, I, I trained and played on worse pitches here. So. Coach, my name is Achita Maklo from Joy Sports. You've overseen three games since you took over in a substantive capacity. If you look back on those three performances, the two friendlies and Thursday's game, how far are, is this team from what you want it to be? I mean, the, the good thing is, like, I don't think I will ever be satisfied. <laughs> To be honest, um, and it's difficult to compare the two games where we had the freedom to 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 experiment. We had a lot of new players there. We had a lot of players, um, young players, not even younger players than than, than now we have at, at this camp. So it's very very different. Surely I want to win, and the team wants to win every game. But it's different if you have friendlies um, where you can prepare yourself for the official games and I want me, I will always try to use, I know the Ghanaians, they always want to win, I also always want to win, but 
In friendly games, it's totally different. I have to try some things and I have to get uh, answers to the questions I have about the player. And for this, I have to try new players. I have to give them chances. I have to um, 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 see in which positions they are capable to play and how the they combine in, in various uh, formation and so for me surely you want to win every game but you can't compare the friendlies with the official games please Hi. coach good evening my name is Seve Seo from Apple FM. um coach myself and you agree that many Kenyans are very uh, I mean eager wanted to go to um, US this, this world that consigning us to US is more like a visa to us do this put pressure on you and the team? I mean, when going to the World Cup, they tell you when you made these messages. Um, I, this is this is part of football. And to be honest, when I was playing, there was much more pressure, much more, because there you have to play, you know, and uh, you have to, um, um, yeah, distribute on the pitch. And this is way, way tougher than being a coach. Yeah, I, and uh, I can just talk like you guys. You can talk. We can say something, and 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 if I want to make it easy, if if it doesn't work, then I will tell. Oh, the the, the players didn't do what I, I said. So so it's very very easy for me. You know, um, and we all want to go. Um, some have been to the World Cup already. For some, it's, it will be the first time. For some, it could be the last time. So it's always always a big big. Thing. It's um, the national team is the biggest thing to, to qualify. Um, what I can say from my point of view, I had the experience, and to be honest, the pressure in the two games with Nigeria was higher, much much higher, because also sometimes I think people forget from where we are coming. Um, um, before the World Cup, we, we came from being um, um, out in the first round of the African Cup. Now too. And it's not so easy to 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 build a team on on, on that, and to 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 have everybody um, switching to my style of play, and to everybody be attentive and to be positive and to believe after such a tournament to believe in yourself, to believe in your teammates and in in, in the coach and in the structure. It's very very difficult. So um, again, big big props for for the players for adapting. Looks like okay, there's, good. Pre there's a good interest in that American presence, so yes. there's a follow-up. So, a follow-up. There is, I'm not sure the question answered or the answer you understood the question. Oh, okay, maybe again. Yeah. People view this World Cup as perhaps the most important event in Ghana's history because there are people with interests. <laughs> okay, <laughs> now I understand. Yes, yeah, yeah, so yeah, yeah. People, people see an opportunity in the United States if oh. the team qualifies. People are looking for job opportunities. <laughs> People want to go there and study. And it, all, it is all hanging on the Black Stars qualification. <laughs> Does your team understand that? Um, I mean, sure. I mean, every player wants to go to the World Cup, no matter where it is. Um, I don't know, maybe Ghanaians should know that there's a lot of job opportunities in Qatar as well. <laughs> and, uh, um, but surely we, we, we desperately want to go there. I mean, everybody wants to go there. Not only us, all these, also Mali, also um, the other teams, and um, also uh, Central African Republic, they all want to go there. The uh, people would nearly die to go there. And, and our players as well. And I could see it in the last game, and I can feel it in the training. Uh, where players are fighting for their spots um, and we have to even stop them and calm them down sometimes so I can I can really feel that how the players are eager to win and how the players want to give their all um, to, to qualify for this World Cup. Right, so two more questions for coach and then we have to go to more, we don't have time. So yeah, we'll, coach, and then the writer will take the last, last part. Yes. I'm Raphael from Opimso FM. Coach, um, whilst you were away after the World Cup, we played against Central African Republic at the same venue in respect to the Afghan qualifiers. In fact, they stretched us. Have you been able to watch the game? And if you've watched the game, I want to know the approach. Because when you were out talk, you told us that you played the type of football Daniel wants. So in the game against Central African Republic, that gave us a tough time in the Afghan qualifiers. What is your approach? Yeah, I, mean, I can't be too specific. 
uh, because uh, surely I don't want our opponent to know what we, we do. Um, I know what their strength is, and their strength is offensive transition. And we have to stop that. Once we stop that, we have the quality to score a goal. Um, um, I will bring, for me, the formation, which is um, uh, the freshest, for the most likely positions, how we can outscore them. And I will hope things will work. Um, but um, they have proven, um, when they played against Mali, that they can um, play a draw or even win against every team. So that will be, it will be tough. And surely we prepared ourselves and watched a lot of matches and they played, not only the, the, the match which they played against us. And uh, we had a lot of analysis um, and uh, I, I hope that we, we, we took, no, not our hope, I think I'm very sure that we picked the right scenes out um, um, and where we have to improve. And then also um, the, the right solution, we trained it on the, on the pitch, um, the right solution how we can play them out. And um, yeah, if things will work out, we'll win this game. Okay, yes. coach. Um, my name is Salim Jara, working for Focus FM. Um, considering the recent results of the Blasters, it appears that the team performs well when you least expect them of them. We saw our performance against Portugal, same during the Afghan against Egypt, and then recently, just um, last week, we went to Mali. No one saw it coming. We had the three months more results. This time around, we are coming up against a team that is considered as a, a, a Nemo in our part of the world here. How important is this game to you and then your, your place? Yeah, it's very, very important. And like, like I said from the beginning, we have to take it serious. It's going to be tough. Um, and um, very good question um, from what you've observed. Um, like in the past, I think we had also problems when we had the favorites in the, in the match and um, now it was for us to, to use these just three days to work on solution, how we can outplay them, which position we can take, how we can position ourselves to bring out the biggest strength, especially of our offensive players. And um, yeah, I'm confident that it will work. Um, yeah, action speaks louder than, than words. We have to see tomorrow. Um, I hope that we can create a lot of chances and then when we do this, then we will score also. Right, Mo, um, congratulations on that massive win in Mali. Um, it's a very big game tomorrow, and if there is a player who represents the heartbeat of this country currently, it's you. And when your questions about the team making it to the USA, Canada, and Mexico, you were smiling. I'm sure you understand why the people would want us to, to qualify as players. Is there pressure on you, and how do you deal with that? Um, thank you for the question. I mean, um Obviously, from um, our point of view, we have um, um, personal goals and things we want to achieve. So, intrinsic, we have we have pressure time from um, the expectation from ourselves. So, and also we are representing um, the whole team and the whole of Ghana. So, definitely, there's 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 pressure from every angle. But um, our motivation and our aim to, to to qualify for the World Cup is, is the ultimate. So, that's that's the motivation that gets us going in every pressure we find ourselves. Uh, my name is Oyele Bampomilia from Happy FM. Please, uh, congrats on your first season in the English Premier League. That was a very impressive season you had there. But there's this general perception that our top players in Europe, when they come down uh, to Africa, we don't see the same levels of performance. And you would also admit that your first game against Mali after the season was a very difficult one. What usually mitigate against um, our top players coming back home and playing at the same level? Is it the weather? Is it fatigue? Is it the quality of pitches we have? Is it just the structure of the teams? Or, the, or is it just the African football terrain that's difficult? What mitigate against players like you, players like Pate, players like Naki, that we don't see that same level of performance when they play for ourselves? Thank you. Um, thanks for the question. Um, first of all, uh, personally, I can only speak for myself. Um, in every game, whether Ghana, Europe, everywhere, my motivation and my approach is the same, which is to, to, to help the team win. And um, yes, with um, being um, one of the names they look out for in, in, in most of the games, everyone is 
quite important in the squad, whether in the bench, on the bench or whatsoever, like you saw against Mali. Um, it's the guys from the bench that came to win the game, so um, everyone deserves the same um, respect and then um, motivation just as us. So we are all a team, you know, it's, it's the point that matters, you know, whether I score anyone or however I perform, you know, the most important thing is that the team wins and then we keep improving as players. So um, personally, I try to do my best in, in, in every um, place I find myself, you know. Um, we started playing from here in Ghana, so there's no excuses in... <laughs> And it's difficult here, the weather and all of that, you know, there's things that come into play, but the opponent face the same as well, so there's no excuse for that, but in, in, in every game I just try to do my best for the, for the country and the team to get the three points, you know. Two more questions for both, so you and then Benghazi, the writer, takes the last one, we have to play. Okay, my name is Joseph Adamafio with Ghana Web. Um, kudos, in the game against Mali, your teammates were able to pull a comeback to get the victory. At the AFCON, this is something that we really struggle to do, getting a late winner and all that. Has this created a sense of belief for the Black Stars once again that we are capable of winning all the matches left in the World Cup qualifiers? Um, the belief has always been there, even though um, it hasn't been showing for the past game in the, in the last part of the games. But like I said, you know, yeah, we all want to go to the World Cup and that is the, 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 the ultimate goal. So whichever route or however we do to go there, that's what we are trying to do, you know. Um, our coach has his philosophy and ways of playing, you know, but um, certain games we have to win the games in a tough way, you know. The most important thing is the three points because every game matters here. So that's the ultimate goal. All right. I'm Asari Obe, Oscar ATV. Yeah, Kudus, um, you've had some good performances for the Blasters team. Other times too, um, you might not get it as you want as part of the game. But do you think that um, being switched from various positions, as you are good at playing right wing, left wing, sometimes playing the AM role, do you think that it plays a role in you performing well for the Black Stars team or otherwise? Um, I'm a player with um, the versatility to play in different positions. So definitely I see it as a, as a positive way for the coach so I can Whichever position I find myself in, um, I will do my best for the team, you know. But uh, my best position is the attacking midfield, and which is the position the, the coach is using me here. So um, there's no excuse not to perform. I'll do my best in every game. Okay. So, Kabul Ebua, Kumasi FM. So, Okwani Kasa Nsuasa. So, this is the last. Good, uh, we're very, very proud of you. As a nation, kudos! Tomorrow we'll hear that in the stands. Coach, today is your 49th birthday, and on behalf of the Kumasi media and on behalf of the media in Ghana, we we'll say happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Coach. Happy birthday. So as he said. Uh, Today, when the players, you met the players, hopefully, the best birthday gift will be massive victory tomorrow at the stadium. And I know that all of us will play a part in ensuring that victory. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. All right, gentlemen, uh, thank you so much, Coach. Thank you, Mo. And thank you, of course, the Communications Director at the Ghana Football Association, Henry Asan Teacher. Please, training starts at 5, the first 15 minutes the media are allowed to come. After the 15 minutes, please don't wait for anyone to tell you to move away out of the stadium. The first 15 minutes is over.